Hey guys, it's Scott with Scotty B Cards. In this video today, we have another rookie card rankings. This is a special autograph edition focusing on Shohei Otani. Okay, so Shohei Otani, we all know the guy. I'm wearing an Angels jersey to represent Otani. Uh, it's actually a trout jersey, but regardless, still the Angels. He is the first player to ever pitch hit, do all these crazy different feats that we talk about first player ever to do this and that all the time in the news. He's very special talent. He's a really gifted player. He's good at both sides of the ball. He's put it all together this year. Um, so I want to talk about his rookie cards, but I want to focus on his autographs. Autographs are a very important part of the hobby, and they're kind of confusing, especially for players with mini autographs like Shohei Otani. A couple of ground rules for this list. We're doing just base autographs. There may be one or two exceptions, but just base because we start including insert autographs from tons of different sets. It can be really confusing. You know, like Bowman's Best has three or four different Otani rookie cards. So we'll just be looking at the base autograph version. On top of that, we're doing cards numbered to 99 or more. So that excludes cards like Transcendent, Diamond Icons, Dynasty, Luminaries, only because they're so hard to find and they're so one-offish that it's really hard to keep track of them all and to know the prices. We're also excluding online releases like the 582 Montgomery Club, Brooklyn Collection, Tops Now, and things like that. All right, so let's just jump right into it. There are a couple of things that break those rules, but only slightly, and I'll explain why I think it's worth including them. So the very first card on this this list we have one of the cards is gonna break the rules this is the inception jumbo patch so there is an inception patch is horizontal number to 99 but this one I wanted to include instead just because I like the image better there this one's worth more than the horizontal patch just because it is a jumbo case hit these are hard to get but it's number to 80 so it's close enough where I thought it would be okay um, this is a great card simply because of the silhouette look from Otani plus the really big patch Angels uniform this is the vintage one but their logo is really cool and so they do a lot of great things with the patch on cards like this only knockoff it's a sticker and that does hurt the value um, right now this card is worth about two thousand dollars raw there's no PSA 10 sales that I can find historically in these videos I'll include the PSA 10 pop and how many have been graded I'm not going to do that for these autographs because they're so few and far between so that is my number 15 this is the tops inception jumbo patch it's an excellent card one of my favorite Otani rookie autographs it probably was one of his first because inception comes out early in the year it's one of the very first products itself okay at number 14 we have one of our only two Panini products, non-licensed products on the list, but both of them are deserving in my opinion. This is the Optic Rookie Autograph. There's multiple different variations of this autograph, but this is the most common, the most sought after. Uh, this one goes for about you know, $1,300 raw. There's only been one PSA 10 sale over the last little bit, and it went for $8,888. So kind of an outlier. I don't think it's worth quite that much, but I do think it's probably worth more than some other cards. So I thought it's worthy of putting on this list. And just for reference, I do have about 26 autograph rookies from Shohei that I think could be contenders to go on this list, but I just picked the top 15 I think will perform the best throughout the years. Okay, so at number 13, we have Museum Collection. It's a very similar style card to Tribute. Tribute is also horizontal, but Museum Collection, because of the image on there and it's like on card, really nice looking, I think it's outperformed. Tribute for a very good reason. This card right now is worth $3,050 raw. That's what the last one sold for. Not much PSA 10 or BGS 95 sales data just because it's a thicker stock card and harder to grade. Plus, they're not super common. It is numbered to 99, so it does qualify, but it is still a tough card to find. At number 12, we have Topps Finest. I picked an autograph that's really interesting and unique. Shohei Otani for some of the Topps Finest actually signed in his Japanese signature. What we are seeing ourselves on most of the cards, these autographs down here is his American signature in a sense, but this is actually his Japanese signature. Really rare and I really enjoy it. Topps Finest is a product they think potentially could be much higher on this list, but just because of what it's going for, I have it at this level. Right now it's a $2,000 card raw and it's three thousand five hundred dollars in a psa 10 that was an english version i don't know what the japanese version would go for but i assume it would demand a premium just because it is a more unique autograph and the more unique card is we know there's a demand for it and it drives the price up at number 11 we have his silver pack autograph he technically has two silver pack autographs he has the one in series two and the one in update they're really hard to find for sale people are holding these for good reason it is a sticker which is a bummer but it does have an action shot plus a good you know actual photo of Otani down here in the corner I love the 80s designs for that reason this one raw is going for about $2,000 last one sold for $1,750 and I bet the update version would go for even more 
After that, we have one of his most popular, and I think it deserves the most popular, like images. This is Stadium Club from 2018, but this is his image at his press conference where he announced that he was going to be with the Angels and all those good things, and so it's a really popular card for good reason. Um, this one does command a slight premium for that. It's $1,800 raw, a little bit more than the Silver Pack autograph, and it goes for $2,500 in a BGS 9.5. I would imagine a PSA 10, if there was any recent sales data, would be around you know $3,500 to $4,000. Really cool card. This is the same, really similar image to his Topps opening day rookie card. And I think because of that, it shows that it was an early set. People like it. Next up on this list at number nine, we have his actual top series two autograph so this is the autograph it's a 1983 version it's not the chrome but it's just the base this autograph is the same reason i like this chrome autograph shows the little image right here plus an action shot this is of him hitting versus pitching which helps carry the card up plus it is kind of like his base autograph rookie card there are some image variations or even just the regular image with the sticker number to five that are extremely rare to find that is technically like the same image but this one is probably what you would look at as his tops autograph this one right now goes for two thousand two hundred and fifty dollars raw no psa or bgs sales that i could find for recent comps all right so next up at number eight we have some of the more premium cards and you're gonna see the prices start to go up this is his bowman's best rookie and for good reason this card will go up this autograph i love bowman's best from 2018 it's one of the best rookie classes of the last decade i would say or even last couple decades you know you have Cunha, soto otani rafael devers you have other guys like victor robles you have walker bueller shane bieber's in this class he's not in this product but regardless that class is loaded i wish i could go back and open more plus the design from this year is amazing and for that reason it kind of helps this card get pushed up right now it's about $2,000 raw, so slightly less than the 83 autograph down here, but it does go for $4,000 in a PSA 10, and I think this has a higher ceiling than some of the other cards on this list, if not all of them, and for that reason, I have it here at number eight. At number seven, we have his 2018 Topps Chrome Update Autograph. This one's a sticker. That's what kind of pushes this card down on the list. Plus, he has a regular Topps Chrome Autograph, and that one is an on-card, and people look at the regular Topps Chrome with Otani, for some reason, as the best rookies to chase. Uh, the thing that's interesting about this card, though, that I would speculate on, and you could also speculate on, this is the same image as his Update Rookie card. If you go look at the Topps Chrome Autograph, which we'll see in just a moment, you'll see it's actually a different image than his base flagship rookie so it's kind of confusing but regardless i think this one has really good potential but where it's selling right now is why i put it here this one goes for about again two thousand dollars raw but it goes for five thousand five hundred dollars in a bgs 95 and i think the ceiling on this card is really really high just slightly below a couple others on the list but i would speculate on it if i was an otani collector next up on the list this is going to be another finest autograph. I said no insert autographs, but I made one exception for this one and the Inception autograph at the bottom. Um, the reason I included this one is because this is a mystery redemption. This is number six, but the mystery redemptions are a common thing in all of the tops autographs that have happened from Topps Finest for the last five or 10 years. These autographs are not released. It's usually Mystery Redemption Player A, Player B, or Player C. He was Player A, I believe, in that Mystery Redemption, and they're all numbered to 99, and they go for substantially more than the base Topps Finest. So I didn't want to exclude this because it's such an important card for Otani, and it goes for such a high amount. Right now, the last one is going for about pretty close to actually this Topps Chrome update. It's $2,000 raw and $5,000 in a PSA 10, but I think it has a really high ceiling only problem is there's two images to compete which makes it a little bit more confusing we'll see that with the tops chrome and some other cards later on this list as well at number five we have the only other non-licensed card on this list this is the number to 10 um, national treasures rpa i included the number to 10 just because it was the best image i could find but these cards are really really cool again they have really nice patches like the inception i think rpas are a very non-existent thing in the baseball card market besides like the ultra high end i wish that there were more of them uh, but this card is great really big patch shows otani and a nice clean design really nice autograph obviously i'm to 99 none higher so Really sought after this card goes for about, you know, $2,300, $2,400 raw. And the last BGS 9.5 went for $5,000. So if you had a PSA 10 of this copy, you're looking at substantially more. I'm guessing it'd be about a $10,000 card at least. Okay, so now we are to the top four. At number four, we have his actual Topps Chromatograph. Like I said, it's not the same image as his 
actual Topps Chrome rookie card, which I don't love. I wish Topps would not do that. I wish they would actually have the same image. It would help the value. Uh, but regardless, this, this one does go for substantially more. Right now, this is a $2,500 card raw. The last PSA 10 was a Blue Wave that went for... $14,000, I believe. That's number to 75, but blue waves go less than some other parallels just because they're newer. Uh, but I would bet this is about a seven to $8,000 card in a PSA 10 just because they are pretty scarce and they are hard to grade, relatively speaking, to other autographs. So this one, I think, is very solid at number four just because Otani, this is an iconic card. It was chased really heavily in 2018. I remember some of the Topps Chrome from 2018 breaks being very expensive and for good reason in hindsight. All right, so at number three, we have another kind of confusing situation. You got you know, a lot of those with Otani with Tops from the rookie year, but this is his pitching rookie autograph. He does not have a first Bowman autograph because he wasn't a prospect in the minor leagues. He came from Japan, and this is technically his first Bowman autograph. So this came out in Bowman. It does not have a Bowman Chrome match, but it has a Bowman paper match to this image. And because it doesn't have that Bowman Chrome similar, it's like same image, it's really hurt the value of this card. Regardless, it still goes for a lot. It's $3,000 raw. A PSA 10 went for $7,200 recently, uh, but it's still chasing behind his other Bowman Chrome Rookie autograph that we'll get into later. Still a great card. The Bowman paper matches this image. It's a really nice image, but you know, pitching cards of Otani go for less than hitting cards. This is a good card to speculate for the long term because it has potential to explode when people realize this is his first actual autograph. If you look at Mike Trout, he has two Bowman Chrome Rookie cards. This one I'm showing now is the 175. This was the very first one released. And the next one I'm showing right now was later on in the year in Bowman Chrome. So you can see the one that was released earlier is actually worth more and the one that was released later in the year is worth less. That's pretty common for players that have both. At number two, we have his real one autograph. This is from Topps Heritage. Uh, Topps Heritage real one autographs are very undervalued cards. If you have a favorite player, these are some excellent cards to pick up because they present well and the autograph holds for a very long time. Some Chromium cards do not hold their autographs well and they fade over time, but these do a great job. I have a Clayton Kershaw that looks like it was signed yesterday and it was signed in 2008. His Bowman Chrome autographs from 2006 are starting to fade a little bit, but that real one autograph I have looks really, really good. So the thing that's confusing about real one autographs is he also has a Topps Heritage high number real one autograph. It's a different image, and that's kind of what Topps has done with a lot of his rookies. They've made it confusing, but because this one is first, it goes for more than the other one that came out in Topps Heritage High Number. This card goes for about you know $1,500 to $2,000 raw, but what you're looking at in a PSA 10 is about $7,500. They're really tough to gem, and this card would be worth even more if there wasn't some downward pressure from the other Topps set later in the year in Heritage High Number pushing down this value. And at number one, I've already hinted at it, this is his other Bowman Chrome autograph. This image matches his Bowman Chrome rookie card that's going crazy. His Bowman Chrome rookie card in a PSA 10 is like two grand right now. This card in a PSA 10 is $12,500. By far his most expensive rookie. Raw, you're looking around $3,500 to $4,000 just to get this card. It's iconic because it has that swinging image. It's a really good image of Otani. Topps did a good job getting this specific card correctly. I just wish this was considered his true Bowman Chrome autograph. Really confusing between those two, but regardless, if you can afford this card and you like Otani, this is the premier investing card for you to target. So anyways, guys, that is it for this list. Thank you for watching. If you're not subscribed already and you like the channel, please hit that subscribe button. It helps the channel grow, and I'll catch you in the next episode.